Got to hold it on? No. Because if you want to take them apart, you want to. That's okay. Restaurants are busy, and we have also have the shops selling crafts from Zimbabwe. Are you ready for it? Yes. 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 Sorghum a day, we will see tiny objects like your Rolexes, your diamonds, gold. <laughs> they like it, they just swallow it. <laughs> but I still like to invite you, the ones who like to do it, come down and feed them. It's very nice to feed them, you can have nice pictures. Yeah? <laughs> Emu and Emu have three males. The African one have two. Hi Emu. Yeah, yeah sure. Sure. Take a picture. Hold it. Good morning everybody, my name is Ana Maria, welcome to the Aloe farm. Uh, we have 10 hectares of uh, land here and we've planted 5. We have 100,000 plants planted, the aloe vera plant. Uh, it came many years ago with the slaves from Africa, it came to the Caribbean and it sort of lingered around in Barbados and that's where it got the name Barbadensis Miller. Why the Miller? It was a botanicus, Dr. Miller, who found that this aloe vera has so much more juice than any other plants that he had encountered. This is the one from Africa, the full of juice. So then he gave it another name, which was aloe vera. The aloe, of course, and the vera, which is Latin for much. 
because it has so much juice in it. Uh, now the aloe vera plant goes back many years because Columbus brought it on his ships. If people got sick, they would give them just a piece like that. Cleopatra used to use it for her face. I mean, it goes way back. Everybody knew it was good. It's only now, in the last 20 years, that we are doing so much more with it. Um, we ourselves work together with BioClean in Holland, in Delft. So we plant the aloe plants here. We process them in the factory. I will take you there a little later and show you. We, crack, we uh, uh, make the gel. Totally concentrated gel goes in big drums to Holland. And they use it at BioClean only for uh, medications. They do not use it in cosmetics, but medications. So in Holland, you have a lot of BioClean products like uh, feminine uh, douche wash, um, all sorts of creams and medications that they use our pure aloe for. So that is a fantastic boost because it's very, very good quality. Um, yes, they grow with actually very little water. We have, like I said, the five uh, uh, acres planted, but they only take 10 liters a week. That is only a little drop of water per plant. So all this rain right now, people say, oh good, that's good for the garden, good for the plants. We are actually happier with a little less rain because they do very well in drought. That's why they do so well in Curacao, because it usually doesn't rain. And it releases the amoebic, the, the bitter red stuff, okay? Then these crates get over that machine or the table that's usually there. And then the guys with the cheese um, slicer, they cut off the sides. So only the two sides are gone. And then you have only these two pieces with the aloe in the middle. That part goes through that machine. They just feed the machine every leaf. And it pushes out all the aloe 